There we go. I am John Dupley. We are on Tough Talk, and I'm with my boy, John the Sun. How you doing tonight, man? Yes, I'm feeling wonderful. Dooms, as usual, what's going on, man? Hey, man, I'm chilling, man. Feeling real good, man. Getting ready to fight. Fight's two weeks away. I am so excited. Woo. UFC once every day. Pumped about I that. I can't wait. I cannot wait. So, man, hey, what did you think about the UFC last week, man? UFC was insane, man. I mean, we went to, we drove down to Fox Wiz. We were doing donuts. I mean, uh, anybody that watched... <laughs> <laughs> Our little travels down, down to the UFC, they know what an intense weekend that was, but they didn't see afterwards when I had to sleep on Josephino's couch and got about two hours of sleep and went out for breakfast afterwards. <laughs> you actually took off before me, though. I took off, man. I had to took off, man, because I had to train, man. I had no choice about train, so I slept for like an hour. An hour and like, in like 15 minutes. I was like, all right, listen, I got to get up and train. So I slept for like an hour, got up and trained. You know, that's my dedication because Brian, your ass is grass. You know what I did afterwards, man? What's that? I went and had breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I know you went to go train. I went to have breakfast. I love it, dude. Yeah, that's cool, man. You know, some people train, some people eat. Man, that's nah. what's up, man. Yo, that show, if you didn't catch the show, definitely see it on YouTube, Tough Talk, John Sander. Subscribe to John Sander. But listen, the best part is I met a Charlotte Monk. You did? Oh, my God. <laughs> I met a Charlotte Monk. How <laughs> random is that? That was very random. Was I, was, I wasn't even there. I was actually down in Club Shrine. Yep. And you were out doing that. Like, I actually saw it in the um, I, I saw it in the cut afterwards yep. And when I was cutting up the video in the studio. Because, I mean, that was crazy, man. You know, we, we went out. We did our thing. We went to Club Shrine afterwards. And then I, I, I slept for a couple hours, and we went right back to the studio and just cut that whole video. Stayed up till about 5 o'clock in the morning making that thing happen. So, Yo. Woo, Sip. Thank Sip. you so much, Yo, man. Shout out to Sip. Yo, Sip, Split you did a great job, man. Split second entertainment again. I have to always shout that out. Split second entertainment. The best entertainment out there. If you know what it is, look it up. You know what it is. Yes. Doomsday approved. Snyder approved. It's the best out there. You know what it is, man. But, yo, that was a, that was a great time, man. That was a great yeah. time. We had, we had a blast, man. You know, Joe Lowe's on this thing. You knocked the eyebrow off. Yeah. You did a big cut about that. Um, you know, Joseph, you know, taking us down on the Dodge Charger, doing our, doing our donuts and, and taking off on us. You know, it was, it was a great time, man. You know the best part about that? <laughs> What's that? He's really selling that car. <laughs> no, he actually already sold he it. He sold the car? <laughs> oh, he sold the car. I didn't even oh. see it. He sold it's the car. He sold the car. He sold the car he's two days later. Are you serious? After he did all those Yo, burnouts and Joseph, the car. he's the man. He's Joseph, the man. You know, hey, God bless uh, you, man. Man. God bless you, man. And I lost 20 bucks to him, too. You did lose 20 I lost bucks, 20 bucks to him. I'm pissed. And we got that on video. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad. Hey, don't be butthurt, bro. I'm mad. Listen, man, it happens. It, it happens, happens, but I'm mad. All right, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll it's talk. Fine. We'll talk about it. So uh, on the show tonight, we have uh, we have Mike Wilson, we have one of your coaches, and we have Stephanie. Stephanie. Yes, and now uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the situation with all these people? I mean, I know about Mike Wilson. I, I think he's kind of played right. at this point. No, I'm just kidding, buddy. Right. So <laughs> my coach, Troy, he's a boxing coach, and he's part of the Doomsday team right now. He's been helping for this fight. His hands is amazing and fast. One of the best boxing coaches out there. It's amazing. He's about to come out next on the, on, as a guest, and it's crazy. And also, my other guest is Stephanie from Inferno Kickboxing, a female kickboxer who's also a fighter. Insane. I've seen her workout. It's awesome. So it's going to be crazy, man. So you're going to love it. It's going to be a good time, brother. Ooh, all right. All right. So it's going to be a good show. Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's going to be a good show. Are you trying to tell me it's going to be a good show? I'm telling you it's going to be a great show. All right. I believe you, bro. That's what's up, I'm man. Look at that. Look, he's full of testosterone right now. I'm, like, I'm ready to go. Like, like, ah. I'm going to poke I, the bear. I got the bear going. I got the hair going. I'm like, I'm a, this is Sparta. Oh, you're, you're, you're transitioning into to, it's, it's Sparta to... to what, what, what else do you got? We have the Rick Ross. The I, Rick Ross. I have man. everything going. Yeah, everything's going Everything right now. Go. But, guys, listen. We're about to cut out real soon, man. Stay tuned with Talk Talk. John the Snyder. We'll John be right back. Here. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Energy. Are back yeah, on we Tough are. Talk, and we have a special guest, one of the Doomsday approved. He is the now a Doomsday coach, helping for the upcoming fight. His name is Troy. 
How you doing, everybody? How you doing? I'm doing all right. That's what's up. Hey, welcome to Tough Talk, brother. Well, thank you very much. Welcome, I Troy. It. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Hey, yo, Noah, I, when I first met you, didn't you named Troy. That's an awesome name to have. Because the first thing that came to mind is that movie Troy. So I was like, Troy? I was like, I got to check with him. That it has to be a badass if his name is Troy. So you know he came off the box as a badass. <laughs> Troy, love it. So, Troy, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get into boxing? How did you get into, you know, j just like fighting in general? Well, I started in martial arts in 1974, okay? Uh, really? Wow, all right. My uh, uncle is Grandmaster Rena Morales. Okay. Uh, he's and in the Hall of Fame. You know, with a title like Grandmaster, that he, he's got to know something. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, he got me into it. Uh, one of the requirements uh, to get my black belt, or one of my black belts, was to uh, take boxing. I had to do two years of boxing. Okay. I love boxing, and then uh, it took off from there. Really? Yeah. All right. So I have two black belts, uh, both from my uncle. So, so you're a guy I don't want to mess with. No, I'm very polite. <laughs> 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 Let me say, that's definitely that guy I don't think you don't mess with. Let me so. Like, I have fast hands, very fast hands. I, the first time I hold, I hold pass with him, I thought I was like, no, I'm an athletic, you know, he's, he's a little of age, you know, I'm going to outspeed him. This dude did a combination and said be faster than me. You know how embarrassing that is that for a professional fighter and your coach is trying to be faster than you? His hands are so fast, unreal, unbelievable. My hands, as a matter of fact, he improves my speed hmm. because how fast he is. That says a lot. Wow, all right. Yes. So, uh, I mean, here, here's the thing, man. Uh, you know, you're walking down the street. You see a guy like Troy. You know, he's dressed in some sweats, and, you know, like, he's kind of like a bigger dude. Yeah, naturally, you might not want to mess with him. But, hey, you know, say some random guy comes up, and, you know, he's got a couple of drinks in him, and all of a sudden, oh, we're on this camera now. On this I, camera. I, lo I, lo I love how you direct I love this. the direct I love this. The only, my only, my <laughs> only gripe with you, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, hold on one second. I, I'm going to have to pause for a second. Where the hell is Jared tonight? Where's Jared? Every single time. Jared. I, you know, where, where's Jared, Jared? I think Jared's in Vegas. He's here every... No, no, not, not Vegas? Every week without fail. Oh, SJ's brother. Oh, all right, all right, Oh, all right. golf course playing golf, all right. So, so back to the subject. You, you know, you got a guy who's got a couple of drinks in him, and then he walks up to you. Now, what, what would you do in order to, to you know, try to expunge the, the, the situation? Be as polite as possible. All right, now say I want to take it a step further. Right, you're being polite. Hey, F you. Okay, not a problem. Have a good night. All right, now I'm going to put my hands on you. Not a problem. Just try not to hurt me. I'm going to touch you. All right. I'm, I'm going to say, listen, what are you drinking? I'm going to offer you a drink. I'm going to go buy you a drink. See, I love that. This is the great thing about mixed martial arts. All right, you never know what a person is capable of. All right, you never know. It's a no, You know, this guy, he looks like a normal guy. So as I said, you know, he's got the sweatpants on, just, you know, regular shirt. He's, you know, kind of hanging out. You don't know what's going to happen. This is why you don't mess with anybody on the street. You know, you want to get a couple of drinks and you think you're tough. You're from Boston. Hey, uh, you, you, be careful, people. Be careful because you don't know if you're going to run into a guy like Troy here. You know, you're lucky enough where, all right, we're back to this camera. You're confusing the hell out of me. Please stop. <laughs> oh, man, you're switching back and forth, back and forth. I'm, you know, I'm lucky enough that we only have two cameras. But, all right, so, you know, say a guy takes a swing at you, though. You're gonna, uh, what, what are you going to do in order to, to try to stop that situation? I'd block the swing and walk away. Block the swing and walk away. See, walk that's, away. A, that's very respectful, Troy. I like that's that. That's yeah. a, that's see, see, he's good. He's good. You take a swing on Doomsday. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you get a Doom on. I, yeah, that's coach it. is nice. You take take a swing at me. Take a swing at me. By the way, you say a couple wrong words. That that's it. I, I, I'm, I, I may I, or I, may what? not have seen this what? situation occur. What? I may or may not what? have. You know, le legalities, what? but you know, may or may not have seen what? this occur. <laughs> I'm right. older than both yeah. of them, so yeah. I have a little see, bit more experience. Yeah. Good though. See, all right, but see, he, he's a grandmaster, yeah. I'm not a grandmaster yet. I'm so not a you, grandmaster uh, yet. Oh, okay, well, he is a master, okay? I'm not the, 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 the master point yet, but let me say, you take a swing on me, uh, you're going to have some problems. I'm saying, I am allowed to develop. I'm not going to. Look, he's nice. I'm not. Hold on. I got to check something. Are we still on this camera? Are we still on this camera? We're yes. still on this camera. We, all, right, sure? cool. all right, Tell me when we switch over, all right? All right, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm just confused right now. All right, so Troy, um, now tell me if, if someone wants to come get some training with a guy like you, where, how would they go about it? Well, I'm at uh, Doomsday's gym. My telephone number is 774 242 6625. I'll travel anywhere to train anybody. I like that. I All like right. that a lot. And when he says Doomsday's training, that's Y Crew 2, Lady 6 Brighton Ave. You're there, and also Victory, Victory, and Stoughton, okay, which is also Pat Walsh's gym. That's two gyms I, I'm at. I train. I uh, cross train with um, Victory, and uh, my main gym I train at is Y Crew. So you can call, you can contact me anyway there. Come down, get some training either way. I'm there. You can do it. 
That's Ooh. what's up. And guys, let me tell you something. He's been working with my hands. My hands are faster, better, stronger. Woo! We have one. Um, what's the combination? What's the combination, We're back coach? Over here. We're back over here. Okay. Yo, I want you to tell me about our combination. I don't want to say too much because it's a little secret. But what's the what's the best combination you show me so far? Uh, I showed him a 32 punch combination. Woo! What? 32 punches. 32 punches. 32 punch combination. Now listen. Ooh. Now we're not gonna expose it because there's, there's there is me on YouTube, me training with Troy. Look it up, John Dooley Howard. You can find me. We you know you're up. watching, Ibrisol. We know you're watching. We know you're watching. Be, be warned. Be ready. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Mm. But you can see a little bit of work we're doing. We have a 32 com combo. 32 combo. So everybody stay tuned for that in UFC 178. Make sure you tune in and watch that 32 punch combo because I can almost guarantee it's going down. It's going down, son. And I can't wait. Brian Elmer's song coming for you. So, Troy, what, what else do you got doom. going on, man? Tell, tell us about life. Uh, nothing. I'm just trying to uh, get my own gym together. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been trying to find some space. Uh, trying to uh, teach. I, uh, I'm a personal trainer. I teach martial arts. I teach boxing. I teach about life. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So give us a life lesson right now. Where, where, where can we uh, that's what's up. give us one of your... Uh one of my life lessons is uh, KISS. K-I-S-S. -S. Okay. Keep it simple, stupid. I like Keep that. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So. All right. So I, I was looking at Troy for a little bit. What camera are we on right now? <laughs> okay. This we're one. On, it wasn't this high when Jared one. was here. Right? <laughs> we're on this one. We're oh. on this one. I so love you, though. That, He's a great yeah, producer. Yeah. Awesome producer, man. I love it. <laughs> on the hot lights, I'm sweating and everything. It's okay for me to sweat. I lose no, it's we have different lights every single week. I, hey, think, hey. I think people are pretty confused at this As, point. Exactly. So, um, yeah. And look at the crowd. The crowd's a little bit different. So usually we're on the fourth floor. We're on the second floor. So if you see, there's like a bar downstairs, a DJ. Shout out to the DJ. I don't know what DJ it is. Shout out to you. Whatever. Sorry. Big up to that you. DJ. Big up to that DJ. Mm -hmm. To that DJ across from, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we change, we change venues. Not, not venues. We, we change stages. We do. We change stages, stages yeah. today. So it's, it's a little bit yeah, different. Yeah, I mean, we, we actually took it on the road last week. Yep. Now we're on the second floor. We're on the second floor. And in a couple of weeks, we're going to be on Vegas. In Vegas. So, I mean, you know, just to follow. Yeah, you, just you follow. Know, there we are. We're back there we are. We're back in that camera. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be <laughs> the, uh, the subject of the show. We're just moving back and forth the camera to camera. Exactly. All right. So we got one minute. Troy, anything you want to add? You know, uh, you yeah. know plug yourself into plug the Plug yourself, man. Let's hear it. Let's do it. Listen, uh, I've been doing martial arts. Uh, I've been training boxing. Basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my own gym. I love training people. I love giving uh, advice. So uh, if you see me, give me a call. That's basically it. I'm, I'm a simple man. I really am. All right. Do you, have a, do you uh, have a Twitter, uh, Facebook, anything that you want to? I have an Instagram that my son set up for me. Uh, it's called BMA underscore TWP. That's uh, the Warpath. That's the name of my, my, my gym when, when I get so, it. So I take it you're not huge on technology. Uh, That's actually a good thing. No, <laughs> it's actually a good thing. And real quick, shout out to Intoxicated Arts, man. Another uh, collaboration with us. They help us out. I'm not a part of the team. Shout out to y'all. We appreciate We appreciate you, man. I know who you are, man. He did an ill backflip. We got to talk about it next time. But listen, guys. Definitely. We got to take a quick break real quick. We will be right back with John Sonner, John Dupley Howard, and Tough Talk. Stay tuned. Troy, thanks for coming I on, man. Thank you, Troy, for coming, man. We Guys, we are back. Tough Talk Radio with John Doomsday Howard and John the Snyder. Yep. We have Mike Wilson, Capital Vice Apparel. How Mike Wilson, doing? how we doing, brother? Good to be here again. I'm glad to have you. Thank you, thank you. A lot of stuff going on lately, man. Absolutely. So, uh, Listen, Mike I've been actually, hold on, like, right off the bat, we're back to this camera. Right off the bat, all right, I, I've actually, I got your website wrong a couple times. You know, maybe I, I got a little bit tipsy, but... What is Snapchat. the website? What is the name of the website? Let's plug it properly. It is www.capvicegear.com. Cap, capvicegear.com. Correct. All and, right. Uh, our main thing that we're pushing right now is our Instagram. 
which is at Capital Vice Apparel. Now, what do you guys have for followers right now? Uh, right now, we're at 61, um, 6100. Our, uh, our now, buddy, that's due to the fact that you're sending out all those nude pictures of yourself. And no, that was that was the first couple hundred. Um, all right. The main the main reason why we got out there a lot hotter over the last week is uh, Waka Flocka actually plugged us for us. Waka uh, Flocka. Waka Flocka. Waka Flocka. Flocka Waka Waka Flocka Waka 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 Waka. Yeah, he uh, he did a little plug for us on his um on his Twitter, and we ended up getting 3,200 uh, new followers. That's that's dope, man. You know, that's one thing that I've always admired about you. You kind of do it like I do. You know, you're always behind the scenes in the Absolutely. shadows, and and you know, you 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 always like seem to come up with. Uh, all these crazy artists, and you're you're always out doing something. So, uh, you know, what, what? Let me ask you something. What is the inspiration for for your clothes? Like, you know, I, I've uh, you, you have so many different types of styles. I've seen like the hands down one, which is yeah. based after the tattoo artist. I've right. seen the uh, uh, what, what what is it? Um, suns out, buns out. Yep, we did that. So kind of like a, a gym days. type, summer type thing. Yeah, absolutely. So, one thing I want to go touch base on is uh, Capital Vice. When it came to me in my head. Uh, I always thought when I came from, you know, the town I'm from, everybody seems to be addicted to something. Mm -hmm. not, usually it's not that great of something. It could be drugs, it could be alcohol, it could be money, it could be sex, whatever it is. Um, I wanted to come out with something that basically meant main addiction. So that's where I got capital vice from. I wanted people to get hooked on my clothes to the point where they wanted every single one of them like a fix. Um, something where you want every single part of the collection, you want to be part of the movement. Um, you know, I, I, see, I see my clothing line as an empty plane. Right now, we're just kind of filling all the seats up before we take off. So Great like analogy, man. Right? Absolutely, man. Wow. Huh? Well, and you're doing a good job of it, man. I'm very Thank proud you. of you, man. Thank you very much. Proud That's great. You, and actually, uh, for, for those that don't know. Oh, we're back to this camera. Back to this camera. Oh, so and for those that don't know, actually, uh, Capital Vice is a sponsor of John Doomsday Howard. Correct. Yeah. Yep. And also, not only a sponsor of John Doomsday Howard, I'll see Doomsday Approved. Oh, Doomsday approved. Doomsday approved. Do we have a hashtag? A hashtag of Doomsday approved. <laughs> yeah, actually, I did hashtag Doomsday approved. You know what? No, someone stole my hashtag. <laughs> so it says, it says, if you hashtag Doomsday approved, there's some new like Doomsday line. It says Doomsday approved, and I'm yeah, like, you're gonna be careful, really? on the internet, man. They'll, they'll really? take it. They'll take it right you off the bat. You stole. You, you stole. You stole my name. You stole Doomsday you, approved. You know what I like? Ah. I actually saw a new hashtag that you came out with today. <laughs> I need attention. Is it hashtag? I need attention. I need attention. <laughs> hashtag. All right. <laughs> this is why. Real quick. Two minutes. One minute on this. All right. So you always see those girls. Who like you know pose half naked, mass selfie, show their booty half naked, and all this, all that. And then they're looking for a good guy. They're looking for a good guy, <laughs> but looking for a good guy and quick to call guys. Oh, he's so thirsty. These guys are so thirsty. You're so thirsty. But well, who's the thirsty one? You're the one posting half naked pictures on the internet for everybody to see. You look more thirsty than me than any of us. You know, if we say if we like your comedy, you can't call us thirsty because look what you're wearing. If you have naked, you need have, you need attention. I mean, you posting pictures. I need attention. I need to self these up. You like Kim Kardashian. I mean, come on. You ever see her? She's ridiculous. Yeah. Selfie. Selfie. No, she can't get a regular phone camera. She has to get a big jacket with a big giant flash. Selfie. 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 <laughs> Selfie. Selfie. The hell is your problem? You need that much attention? You need to take more pictures of yourself? Come on. We like to call come those on. attention whores. Attention whores. Attention Please whores. stop demanding attention whores. Exactly. Speaking, speaking of attention whores, um, people that like to feed off other people's success, there we go. I created a hashtag called Go That Way, and that's my favorite one. When I sit there and tell a story... The end of it, it's like, yeah, hashtag cool, hashtag truth, hashtag go that way. Mm, I don't go need that, that way. on me. I don't need that with all the things that I have going on. I know you don't. I know you don't. Absolutely not. No, no, no. Not, if not you're me. there from the start, you're there from the start. If you're just joining in, more than welcome. But if you're just joining in to be a part of something that's good, yeah. no need for you. A lot, a lot of bandwagon that. fans out there. And I mean, Big me and Dooms, actually, we, we talked about this. Before. We're back to this camera. now. Back to this camera. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, ah! Oh. We've actually, uh, we, yeah, me and Dooms, they've had this conversation many a times before where, it, you know, it. If you're gonna be a fan, be a freaking fan, and especially out in Boston, okay? We have enough of you bandwagon fans where you're jumping on when the Red Sox are doing good, you're jumping on when the Patriots are doing good, you don't know any of the players' names, okay? Listen, Doomsday has been putting in nonstop work for Thank years you. now. Thank you. Years, Thank okay? You. And there's very few people in the closed circle, and those people in the closed circle deserve to be in the closed circle. Now that when once he wins, or even if he loses, Listen, ah. don't draw. He's not going to lose. No, we don't lose, Debbie. We don't <laughs> I don't even lose. know why I said that. He's not going to lose. I just <laughs> have to laugh at that. He's ready. Anyways, but listen, if he wins, okay, when he wins, all right, the better when he wins. Are we on this camera still or are you messing with me? I right, swear to God, he's messing with me. He's messing with all right? us. He's over there smoking his vapor eyes. I love it. I love it. Get rid of those cigarettes. And I'll love you forever. All right, but 
the fact that Doomsday wins does not mean that he needs a, all, all these new fans. Listen, if you're going to be a fan, be a fan. Exactly. You know what I mean? No, I'm going to agree with that. Yo, you know what I'm saying? You know, Boston, I feel like I've been saying this for years. I feel like Boston loves me less and I love you more. And I'm sick of that. That's not fair. I fought in the TD Garden. Okay? Beat Uriah Hall, who's from New York. I represent in Boston. He's actually fullest. a very good friend of ours. Yeah, uh, he's a good friend of ours. Shout out to Ryan Hawkins. We, we play Tekken together. I got my love for him. We actually is, is, sat next to him in the right? UFC. But yeah, Boston. we did. Yep. Funny dude. But here's my beef. Here's my beef with Boston. It's like I'm from Boston. A Boston athlete fought in the TD Garden representing y'all. And like people's like, oh, you're from Boston? Oh, you, you're a fighter? Oh, what, what is that? <laughs> what is that? That makes me piss me off. That, that makes me, you know what? You know what? I'm, I'm sick of your bandwagon Boston fans. That, that pisses me <laughs> off. That really pisses me off. Be a fan. Yeah, I, I, Support be a fan. this man. Exactly. He's from Boston. He's exactly. A, he's a, oh. Yeah, we're with this fan. Oh, <laughs> we're going to get you. No, be, be careful. Why he's am I all He's, he's all hooked uh, up right now. His testosterone Where you go? Room. Look, the face of Fawn He doesn't oh. even have sex anymore. No. Oh, Jesus. It sucks. I know. It's, it's all right. It's all right. I'm all depressed right. We'll, now. We'll talk about this later. This <laughs> is not the time, now. Doomsday. <laughs> I'm the depressed time. now. So, why? No. Again, you know, he, he's, he, it's not even like he's one of those guys saying that he's from Boston, but he's from the South Shore, from yeah. the North Shore. He's from Boston. He's a Dorchester native. Yes. Okay, listen, if you're going to if you're gonna support, support the man, all right? Don't don't wait to hop on after he knocks this guy out. <laughs> hop on now. He's doing his thing. He's Absolutely. been, a, you know, he, he came from UFC back in the day, left, came back. He's been putting his work in. The guy works his butt off. It's it's time, man. You know, it's like time. you know, get let, give him some appreciation. That's all I'm asking. Exactly. Sick of you guys. Exactly. Sick of you. No, here, here's the best part. I've been on Fox the News. Job sucks. No, I've been on Fox <laughs> News, the Phoenix, the Harrow, the Globe. I've been everything. I've proven myself. Yeah, you now. have Fox coming up too, yeah, right? Yeah, and Fox. Fox, uh, Fox, Fox 25 and NBC. And NBC. Next week. Look at that. Look at that. From Boston, baby. Hey, What's up? Not, not, not only that. Not only that, <laughs> guys. Let me tell you a secret that pisses me off too. Okay. The Boston Barber, he did what he did. I'm the one who knocked him out. He got a little Boston knockout before he True did what he story. did. So he got beat. He got beat down. He got Boston beat down. What's up with that? I should get love just for that. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to treat my own horn, but I'm the one who did it. I'm the one who knocked him out when it was needed. <laughs> Back to the show. Back to the show. So yeah, again, it's uh, where, where are we at right now? We're on that one. We're on this we one. We got one minute left. I'm so excited. All right, we, you don't want to know what we're, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do two parts with Mike Wilson. We're, we're gonna go to commercial and we're gonna come back, Mike. All right, so uh, what else do we get to talk about, man? Uh, basically, my biggest thing. I, I didn't get to touch too much base on it, but uh, we finally found a sponsorship, and it was through uh, Ink Nation. Ink we, Nation. We, we always, you, John. <laughs> huge. We've always, we've always had um, our niche where we were in hip hop, we were in EDM, we were in all these different scenes, but we never really had a place to call home. And uh, the hip-hop, I mean, no, related too, but the uh, tattooed community showed so much support through us. Um, we hit the U.K. because of them, Canada. We've hit so many different places that I, I didn't even expect to. I, I didn't think we would hit it that fast either. But, I mean, we gained another 60,000 followers just through them, and they're over there tweeting about us, following us on Facebook. Following us on uh, Instagram, getting us really out that's there. That's awesome, man. Well deserved, Thank honestly. You. Thank you, you know, much. you've been pushing as long as I've known you. You've always been pushing. Thank you. And I, I think that's why you and me click so well. No, is, is that you know we, we we're both uh, driven for for bigger things. Yeah. You got to just strive. That's all it is. It's doing. That's and also, it's Tuesday man. approved. It's, it's Tuesday approved. approved. <laughs> Can't beat that. <laughs> Can't beat that. So, guys, real quick, we are gonna come back in like what 40 seconds? You said is that 40 seconds, 30, 30 seconds, seconds, 20 seconds, seconds 20 kind of, 10, kind of seconds, whatever. whatever seconds. So, we'll be right back with Mike Wilson. He gets another five minutes, three I'm minutes and a half. Here, and I'm gonna point over, over here, here. I'm and then over we'll here. be back on Tough Talk. Join the sign of John Dooley here. Stay tuned.
John Doomsday Howard, John the Snyder. What's going on? All right, so listen. One thing I need to bring up right now. Gentlemen. All right. Ass wipes. Stop hitting women. Okay? Stop hitting women. Uh -oh. What is the matter with you? Is this the they bitch of the week themselves. segment? They, all right, so we are on to this bitch of the, the week. The bitch of the week Ray segment. Ray Rice. Ray Rice. Ray Rice. Ray Rice. All right, number one, even if you're gonna, all right, even, the fact that you're hitting a woman, okay, you should not be hitting women. No. But the fact that you're doing it in an elevator, what the hell is the matter with you? There's cameras <laughs> in elevators. No, 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 no. Close no, no. space. Oh, 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 oh. He didn't hit her. He knocked her the yeah, he, out. He, he went full force <laughs> no, and hit her. Right, listen, I'm not, I'm not with hitting women. But when you knock a girl out and then that's your wife and you drag oh her like she's a, God, a, a rape victim, like you're about to cook her or rape her. I mean, <laughs> come on. And then security comes you out like, I don't know what happened. She just fell. That's Dude, messed up. Over there, that, man. That's messed up. I mean, come, come on, come on. You definitely <laughs> Ray Rice. And not Ray to Rice. Mention, all right, so you now are the bitch of this week. Know that. I do have yes, one thing. Are. Are. Why is his wife defending him? Yes, his wife it. actually went on. Uh, she, she she made a statement um, saying that she, you know they're trying to work through their personal problems right now. Well, like getting hit. Uh, well, I mean they're, they're, they're saying that <laughs> you're, you're, you're beating a Knocked dead horse. Out, Apparently, you know, for, for lack of better words, they're beating a dead horse. <laughs> it, this this is something that what has happened in the past, and TMZ apparently leaked it. Now. TMZ leaking it, now they're bringing up old issues that, that they, they already worked out. Which I understand, you know, may, maybe they, they did work out their issues. And now maybe TMZ is kind of pushing it a, a little bit too hard. Yeah. But even still, you know, like, come to grips with the fact that you hit your wife, okay? Any man th that has any type of dignity should not be hitting a woman that, that can't defend herself. All right? Stop hitting women. No, but realistically, yeah, yeah, I, realistically... In that type of case, too, if you sign it on for millions of dollars in your contract, it should say you're not allowed to break the law, you're not allowed to hit women. Simple little things that you shouldn't do anyways because no one else can do them. Absolutely. You're the richest people in the world. Why can't you just enjoy it? Yeah, we would all, some of these we would rich people kill actually that. get away with stuff like we this. We would all kill for the money. Yeah. Exactly. Hernandez did. But it is a messed up thing. I mean, it is a, it is a two-part <laughs> story. Now, the story is before they were married, they got married, that they got – that happened. Okay, that happened. Then after that happened, they got married after. Now, this was an old video that rehashed. Someone got a hold of it and rehashed it came up. Now, my thing is, I do agree to a point. If, if there was a personal issue, maybe they have counseling. We don't know the other side of the story of it. So, yep. I say that for the NFL to fire them, that that's if, it, if they worked it out and they're okay and she's supporting him, now, I'm against, you know, hitting women and everything like that. But if she's stick with him and supporting him, he should not be fired, especially when his wife is right this there. This could also be you know an I mean? issue of money, though. This, exactly. This, this could be it's, the it's fact that, you know, the NFL doesn't want him in there anymore. Now, you want to know what? All right, now he's not making the money that he should be making, and I'm not going to yep. get everything that I need. So I'm going to support him and make sure that he's getting that money. It's a possibility. I mean, there's, yeah. there's always three sides to a story. There's, there's always, you know, his story, her story, and then there's yeah, the truth. True. Right? But absolutely. I mean, either yeah. way, regardless on that topic, we got to bring up two other people, right? 50 what else Cent. Do we have? 50, 50 Cent, cent in Mayweather. And, and, I mean, it's one thing oh that 50 God, called man. him out about reading a sentence in a book, Harry Potter book. Then he changed the but cat then, in the But hat. then Mayweather actually reciprocated and came back and said that he will read the whole book. Whole for, book. If you take that 750000 and donate it to who? Michael Brown's Michael family. Michael Brown's family. Michael Brown. And 50 Cent didn't respond. Didn't respond. What's up, what's up, what 50? do you have to say? What's up, 50? What you you, have have to say, you talk all that trash and all this and all that. You know what? You know what, 50? Just for that. You're also the bitch of the week. Oh, man. <laughs> You're also the bitch of the week. Wait, wait. Can we add a third? I, 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 I don't care. Look, you talk Why all that you trash, and you, you said up. you, call, you called you out him, saying he's right. this is that. All right. He called you back, and now we're quiet because you was on the internet saying this, this and that, and that, and that. <laughs> now he called you out. We got quiet. What's up, 50? But wait. There's a hat trick bitch of the week. Uh-oh. Did you see Is it that guy that didn't make your sandwich correctly? No. No, not that There's guy. There's a fourth bitch of the week. There's a fourth, fourth. bitch of the week. Oh, fourth. okay. But listen. The reporter that Mike Tyson dealt with? Oh, my oh God. <laughs> tell me. Yes. Tell me that guy Mike didn't Mike Tyson. Wow. wow. He said, Stop. I love you because you always keep it 100%. Uh -huh, you always keep it 110%. So this reporter, all right. Um, uh, brought up his rape uh, trial. Yeah, he brought up his old rape old trial. Old school rape you know, trial. Th this, is, this is stuff that, you know, that it's been brought up. And once again, beating a dead horse. Mike Tyson. Live. He said, you, you, you look like an, a, a really nice guy, but you're really an asshole. And then he said, you're a piece of S. Yeah, a piece and of F S. And F you. Right on live. 
Yeah. Right on to Ron for the stage. Good for, I say, I say hats yo. off to you, Mike Tyson. Shout out to Mike Tyson for keeping it real. <laughs> Shut up. Kill Shout out for keeping it real. So that reporter, yes. that reporter finishes off the hat trick bitch of the week. Yes. So you got and this yes. concludes Great. this bitch of the week. The bitch of the week. <laughs> Brought to you by Tough Talk. Tough Talk. Well, listen, there's one other girl that's going to be coming on. What's her name? Stephanie. Her name's Stephanie. Stephanie. She is a teacher at Inferno and also a fighter out of Inferno kickboxing. And she's going to bring up actually my old on. DJ name. You know that? Yeah. yeah Inferno. DJ Inferno. Inferno. Yeah. DJ Inferno, a.k.a. John the Snyder. <laughs> now, I'm going to tease him for that. I'm going to say Inferno, Inferno, dicka, dicka, Inferno. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so. Listen, don't mess with me. I'm still making your uh, walkout song. That's right. So, I got to be careful. So, careful. real quick, I just want to plug my last things. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Twitter. Twitter? Uh, it's at, sorry, Capital Vice Mike. Instagram, at Capital Vice Apparel. We're trying to get to 10,000 likes probably in the next two days. We're really close. And then uh, lastly, www.capvicegear.com. real quick, you actually, uh, Charlie Robbins, one of, one of our previous oh, guests. Oh, man. You guys are doing, uh, a, it's called Vice Edition. Vice Edition. We're coming out with a fall. Winter clothing. I line. actually got the privilege of sitting in that meeting. I, I, I love where you guys are going with that. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty me, dope, me and Charlie like to drink during our meetings, and we come up with a lot of great ideas, and uh, that's definitely one of them. He's built How a family. How come when you and me drink together, we never come up with great ideas? It always ends up to, to some usually, type of mayhem. Usually you involve Jameson, and you're not good at Jameson. Yeah, you're right. I have you're too right. many beers, way too many beers. and Yeah, you, you end up uh, doing something in my kitchen you shouldn't be doing. We won't bring it up. We won't bring it up. It's I cool. want to bring it up. You want to bring it up? I peed on the man's floor. I, I want to see if Doomsday... I might have blacked out a little bit. I peed on the man's floor. A little floor. bit? All right, well, I, I blacked out you enough to pee. blacked out a lot of it. A lot of it. I peed on the man's floor, and he stabbed me in the head with a katana. That's not true. He's and I have the scar. In the I might have done head. that. I might have. And I thought I died. You don't pee on a man's kitchen floor. That's where I eat. So what would you do if someone peed on You wouldn't stab him with a katana. <laughs> You're lucky it wasn't one of my kicks, <laughs> Maybe You know maybe. how hard I kick. I think he'd do a leg kick or a body shot. You stabbed me you with a katana. You know how hard kick. I Would you rather a leg kick no or what? getting stabbed no in what? the head? No you what? know how no, hard no, I kick. No. That's I exactly know. what I do. You're going to pee on my floor? I'm going to leg kick you right in your third leg. Oh, you want to pee? You want to pee? You want to pee? All right, keep peeing. I have keep to it. ask the question, Yo, though. Wait, wait, would you rather get bug, stabbed in the head or would you rather wear my legs? Everything I got. Answer the question, Mike. I'm only going to say get stabbed in the head. No, wait. I'll say leg kick because stabbed in the head can't happen here. Okay. So I would rather get leg kicked if I was in that scenario again, only because you hit me with a knife, like a big, real big knife, and it, it sucked. There's a lot of blood, too. Uh, well, I just like to go on the record and, um, and apologize yeah. for stabbing <laughs> yeah. you in the head, but I, I, I still, I forgive, but I do not forget the fact that you peed on my kitchen floor. Hey. Exactly. L listen, he's he nice because <laughs> pee on my floor. Pee on my floor. Pee on, my floor. Pee on, pee on doomsday floor. Now yeah, I, have I, have I have to go to Vegas. I have to go to See what happens. Play pee on my floor and see what, man. That's, a, that's, that's like him <laughs> challenging me. Now I have to go to Vegas just to piss on his hotel room floor. No, yep. no, no. He, you see what, what happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, in his house? In his house. I, don't, house. I can't yeah. do that. No, no, no. I can't do that. Nah. The hotel floor, I don't care because I don't got to clean up. But <laughs> you pee in my <laughs> house? Hotels. On my floor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. So that's a good way to end the, uh, the interview. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Again, no, cat, capvicegear.com. <laughs> absolutely. So www.capvicegear.com. Uh, type in the code Ink Nation. Any shout outs? Give you a shout out your mom or... I'd like to shout out John the Snyder and Dooms the Day. Um, Dooms the Day. <laughs> Dooms the Day. Dooms the Day. You know what? Here That's up. You know what? That's gonna be the WWE name. If I go, if I go to WWE. Dooms the Day. Dooms, Dooms the, the Day. day. Dooms, the day. Dooms, the day. Dooms the Day. I like Yo, that. That's what's up. You're welcome. Dooms <laughs> the Day. Dooms the Day. Dooms Absolutely. the Day. You know what? You know what? Wow. <laughs> that can be AKA Dooms Day, AKA Dooms the Day. Has anybody else been watching the music video in the background? How long do we have left? We we got. Uh, we got. We, we, we have. And we are back. John Dubey, how here with John the Snyder. We are Tough Talk, and we have another special guest, Stephanie. Hi, who, Stephanie. How What's you up, doing, guys? Stephanie? How are you? Yes, the beautiful Steph, who's also a badass. She's a fighter <laughs> and a kickboxer, and also an instructor. 
Inferno, but I'm going to let her plug herself in. Go. What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Stephanie. I am the co-owner of Inferno Kickboxing down in Exeter, Rhode Island. Uh, we offer fitness kickboxing, Muay Thai boxing, kids classes. You name it, we got it. And we're the best in Rhode Island. I can tell you that for sure. So that's pretty damn badass. That's right. badass, like dude. That. And I, dude, let me tell you something. Shout out to Krulu. Krulu was also the uh, other owner, part owner of um, Inferno Kickboxing. He's a guy, every time I do an open work on Rhode Island, mm. that holds my pads. Right, crew Lou? Crew Lou. What a better name than Lou. Than Lou. You had to put crew at the Lou. beginning. Crew exactly. Lou. I love crew that. Lou. Wait, crew his, Lou. La his last name is Carulo. Carulo. So it's Crew Lou. Crew Lou. Crew Lou. Crew that's such an awesome yeah. name. I can't do it. Can't that's do it. That's an awesome name. Yeah, so I, I like mean, that. a lot of people have actually been complaining. All right, we're back to this camera. A lot of people are complaining that we have not had that many women on Tough Talk. Here you go. There you go. Welcome, Stephanie. All right, Thank so uh, what, what else do we have going on? Tell us tell us some stories. Tell us about Inferno Kickboxing. Uh, well, we opened in January, so we've been going for about eight and a half months now. Um, you know, we're still growing. It's small, but, you know, it's nice. We're down near URI. I know it's kind of far from what we're doing right now, but, you know, it's it's a good time. We um, we got a small kids program going. We're running a great back-to-school special. You know, I met Lou training uh, about two years ago. He was my fight coach at one of the other gyms that we were at, and nice. um, I was doing fitness kickboxing at the time, and... He was the fight instructor. The owner was like, you know, you should come. Come try it out. You might like it. I fell in love with it, and I never looked back. And I've been training to fight ever since, Muay Thai. You know, I love it. And um, after he had his disagreements, I will say, with uh, with that owner, we decided to go into business ourselves, and we've been we've been going strong ever since. So oh, wow, nice. Awesome. Good for you guys. That's what's up. And actually, I've been down to the school, and I saw the workouts. I saw the commercial. If you never see the commercial, Go on YouTube, type out Kickboxing Inferno, Inferno Kickboxing, and you see the commercial. It's dope. And like I said, now, I don't give a lot of instructors this passage away, but he's definitely doomsday approved. Right? Not too many guys. We have to get you a stamp. We got to get a stamp. Doomsday approved. That's a doomsday approved. I love that. Right, let me tell the fans something. A lot of people can't handle my power because I kick hard and I knee hard and I elbow hard. Yes, so it takes a real high Thai, uh, Muay Thai level holder to hold my, to hold my, you know, my power. He can do it. He can do it. Even though sometimes I bruise him, he can do it. Crew Lou so, can do it. So, Crew Lou, shout out to you. You are shout definitely out. Doomsday approved. Shout out Crew Lou. You get it done. That's what's up. But also, no one's also, no one else was, but Stephanie, like, she is beautiful. I tell all the time, she is gorgeous, right? But she's a badass. I trained with her before. Yeah. We sparred together. We sparred together. Okay? We sparred together. Went back and forth. She was leg kicking me, hitting me like 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 no thing. And that's what's up. To see someone as beautiful as her, but be a badass, that's what's up. That's the inspiration to all women out there. Hell yeah. Thanks, John. Big up the stuff. How long have you been training? Uh, just around two years. In Thai, a little over a year. A little over a, a year. A little over a year in Thai. Um, and you picked up all this in, in just a little over a year. Yep. And then, now, was it Inferno your first school, or did you? No, I was training at another school in Rhode Island prior to Inferno. Okay. Um, and that's where I met Krulu. Yep. And he started training me. He actually trained me for a fitness contest that I placed third nationally in, which was awesome. And uh, over five, like I think 5,000 contestants or something like that. So I lost. 5,000? 5, 5,000. I lost. I'm sorry, 5,000? Yes, 5,000. Zero, zero, zero. 5, over 5,000 contestants. I placed third nationally and uh, won like 500 bucks. It was kind of cool. I lost 23 pounds in a month and a half and gotten. Like, Out of 5,000 people, you placed third? Yes. And they only give you 500 bucks though? <laughs> yeah. Wait, the winner? You guys are jerks. The winner won $5,000. The winner won 5000 Third place got 500 bucks. So that's what? a dollar for every person. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it was kind of I don't like how some of these competitions <laughs> I don't are know, I don't know. So I mean, we're going to have to look into that. Yeah, it was sketch. a little sketchy. <laughs> but, you know, it was a great time. So once I started training with him for that, you know, um, it just kind of took off. He started training me in Thai. I picked it up um, real fast, faster than most people normally do. I've been an athlete my whole life. You know, I played Division One softball in college. And um, honestly, always thought martial arts was kind of silly. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie. <laughs> and uh, but now that you've done it, now that I've done it, I'm in love with it. I haven't. I haven't. It's very addicting. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't picked up a softball since I started training in martial arts. So it's you know it's kind of crazy. But um, you know, it's I, I would never look back. I love it. So much fun. Now, what 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 type of advice would you give to somebody that has never done mixed martial arts before? It, get, try it. That's try it. All, that's all I can say is try it. Because uh, you I, know I, what? I took my very first grappling class ever about two weeks ago with Pat Walsh, and it was unreal. 
I had never, ever experienced anything like that before. I was like, you know, whatever, I'll give it a shot. I'll try it. Now, granted, Krulu always tells me there's something wrong with my head because mm -hmm. I don't mind getting hit or punched or thrown across the room. It's I think anybody that does mixed martial arts is going to be some extent something wrong with your head. But well, <laughs> you want to know what? you got to stop switching cameras, all right? I'm getting sick of this. Got mm. All right. So, <laughs> um. So I mean, yeah, that, that's the big thing. Uh, I, I think you know, for, for people that are first trying out mixed martial arts, the, the the biggest thing is getting your foot in the door. And once you get your foot in the door, you don't even have to train that first day. As long as you see it, it naturally becomes addicting. It does. I mean, I think it's so much fun. I mean, it, it's not for everybody, you know. Certainly everybody, not. But I encourage everybody to try, it, especially women. I mean, there's you know, there's a decent amount of women. The sport is growing. Um, but you know, it was that was new to me. I was a stand-up fighter until I took Pat's class, and I was like, "Wow, I could probably do this." You know, and I mean, it was I, it was so much fun. I can't wait till I'm going back tomorrow. And I, I you know, I think Doomsday will agree with me on this. And I, I think it's a great thing for women to get in mixed martial arts. You know, to be able to defend yourself. You go on the street, and you know, so, so someone wants to try something on you, and you, wow, you be able to <laughs> kick their butt. You should try it out. You know, get get into some mixed martial arts. At least try it. You know, get get to the basics so you know what you're doing. You know how to defend yourself. Exactly. And let me tell you another secret. A lot of women don't know. Jiu-jitsu was built for women, not for men. It was. It was. It was built for women. Yes. It was not built for men because women are more flexible and they have they can put them in worse positions. But the more flexible you are, the more dangerous you are. The best jiu-jitsu fighter in the world. He's the most flexible, one of the most flexible human beings in the world. Because the more flexible he is, that's why he's doing so well in the um in he the can jiu wrap world. You up like a pretzel. Like a pretzel. Yeah. So that being said, the jiu-jitsu was built for a woman, not for a man. So women, clue, 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 hint, hint, hint. Get to it. Get into it. So, but so, real quick, but real quick, I got I got plugging some sponsor real quick. Well, today y'all don't know this, but I'm wearing my 66 fight wear. The original yes. first sponsor of Doomsday. You know what that version is? They made my shirt. If you look at the back, it says John Doomsday Howard Wire Crew. This is the first first official sponsor. Yo, shout out to um, Pat666. Shout out for UFO Wrestling, my, my first sponsor. Also to Torque. You know, shout out to you too. But, shout out Torque. But this shirt right here was my first UFC fight big time sponsor. He made my own shirt, and I still wear it to this day. You can't find too many anymore, but I got it. So shout out to you real quick. Thank you very much. Now, at this point, being so close to the fight, uh, are you picking up any more sponsors? Are you taking anything else at this I point? I take or? whatever is there. <laughs> whatever is there. And if you yeah. want to give Doomsday some money, I'll sponsor you. Whatever. I can speak. I'm on to click. I'm cute. <laughs> I can smile. Hey, whatever you want to help. Any help. I don't care if you want to sponsor me gear, product, whatever. Do it. I'm easy to find. I'm yeah, really easy to find. Anybody watching this, you can either, I mean, honestly, they, they probably hit up me, right? Yep. Uh, so you hit up John the Snyder on Twitter. You can also find me on Facebook, Boston State of Mind ENT. You can hit me up. Uh, G, it's JS at VictoryCombatSports.com. Uh, so any, any sponsors out there that you're looking to get your name out there and get on that UFC level, hit me up. That's what's up. But also, speaking of plugging in, Stephanie. Once, once again, once you plug out all the info, the Twitter, yeah, the Facebook, it. let's hear it for uh, Inferno and yourself. Let's get yourself some fans, <laughs> our future <laughs> MMA kickboxer fighter over here. All right, everybody, if you want to check out Inferno Kickboxing, head to www.infernokickboxing.com. You can find us on Facebook, search Inferno Kickboxing. You can find myself, Stephanie Feinstein, or Crew Lou. That's Lou Carulo. Find us on Facebook. We're on Twitter, Inferno Kickboxing. Very simple. We keep it basic for the fans. Come down, try out a class. We got a great special running right now. Come down, try out a week for twenty bucks. Get a free pair of hand wraps, and we'll we'll hook you up. There it hey, is. That's what's up. And also, Inferno Kickboxing is also Doomsday approved. How many times do you say it this segment? All the time. I gotta say it, man. <laughs> Yo, this is so awesome to say it really Doomsday. Does. It really I like does. I like how you pause it. and everybody just shuts the hell up. They're like, it's Doomsday, doomsday. approved. I love it, y'all. Were so, we on that camera? Well, we're on that camera. All right, so oh. listen, real <laughs> quick, real quick. I'm going to plug myself in. Listen, everybody who knows I got fans, you can follow me on Facebook, John Howard, or my fan page, John Howard MMA, um, or uh, Twitter, John Doomsday, um, on Instagram, John Doomsday Howard. But, but I tell everybody to follow me on Snapchat. Snapchat's the way to follow me. You know why? Because I don't have to be a politician. I can be my savior. I can say what the... I want to say how I want, and I don't give up on Snapchat. Say when you want. When I want, how I want, <laughs> whatever. I can be dirty, raunchy, and don't give a F. So listen, if you have Snapchat, John Doomsday, follow me on Snapchat. I guarantee you'll laugh your app 
off all the time. Doomsday Snapchat is John the Snyder approved. Yes. I'm ready to shut up. <laughs> yes. Wow, that was awesome. Yes, I John. That good. I like yeah, that. Is that so awesome? That felt really John good. John the Snyder approved. <laughs> Honestly, no, I that's how high I started without using. I mean, it, it's it, your snap. Your Snapchat is actually your life. When you wake up in the morning, you're brushing your teeth, you get in the car, you're going to training late on time. So I mean, people can see things that they will not normally see that we will not talk about on Tough Talk. Exactly. But you know, the best part too is not only do I do that, I respond to all my fans, all of them, and you get a video. I don't do like a picture and a text. I do a video so you know it's John Duty Howard talking to you. As a matter of fact, I have a lot. I gain new fans. And a lot of fans who talk to me said, I can't believe that John Dunsley Howard took time out of his day to, to talk to you. Listen, I don't get back to you right away, but I do get back to you. You show me love, I give love right back. That's one thing that always. I've always loved about Doomsday, even before I met him, is that he's always responding to fans. He's always taking pictures with fans. I've actually, uh, what was it, UFC? 168. 168. Yes. We were bombarded, and we were supposed to go to like five after parties. I will never forget this till the day I die. I, I had to literally grab this man <laughs> and pull him out of the fans because he would sign everybody's autograph, take pictures with all the kids, take pictures with everybody. Honestly, one of the realest UFC fighters, one of the realest like pro fighters, pro sports that I know, man, that I've ever met. Thank and I, that's why I respect you, Doomsday. Thank you, man. Thank you. And the same respect to John the Do Snyder, Doomsday man. is John the, the Snyder, Snyder approved. approved. <laughs> wow, that feels that's good. That's so good, right? It really does. That feels good, yo. Thank you for that. Stop saying that. that, was, that say it all the time. Say it's that all thing, the time. I, I was on a horrible movie before I started the show. Definitely. Oh, Definitely. All right. So, anything else that you want to plug, Stephanie? No, I just want to thank you guys for having me on. Well, know. thank you for coming on. I appreciate that. Thank you for being the first female guest. They yes, coming on she made talk. history. <laughs> she, <did>. she made <laughs> history. The first female guest. The first female guest. On, on Tough Talk. On Tough Talk. Well, thank you guys we got, very we, much. We got, we got to remember You're today. What's welcome. today's date? Today is September the 12th. September Friday. The 12th. 2014. Our first female guest was Stephanie. Mark that in the calendar. We mark that from the calendar. There it is. So listen, when we blow up and the show gets bigger and bigger, bigger we're going to remember this moment. We're going to remember this moment. Definitely. And, and guys, make sure, all right, uh, just one final thing. Make sure you go on Doomsday's page, my page, wherever. We have it We have it posted up right now. Me and Doomsday, we took our trip down to Foxwoods. Um, check out that video. Mike Sip put it together. Splitsecond.com. Split. 2nd.com. Yeah. We put the whole video together. I stayed up till 5 o'clock in the morning with this Split man. Split second. It's insane. Check that out. That video is hilarious, by the way. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Thank you. We were really hard about it. Guys, check it out. We got interaction with fans, the whole nine yards. The we, best have, we have interviews the, with Joe oh Lewis, on coach. We have, like I said, we got, we got burnouts. We, we have... We have douchebags in there. We have all sorts of crazy things going on. So oh, yeah. That was, uh, <laughs> I yeah, hated we, that guy. Yeah, that I hate guy. you. If that, you're watching this, I You're a douchebag for no reason. You, you was a douchebag for no reason. Well, I helped you, you out. You ignored me, and I didn't like that, and that's why I wrote douchebag on exactly. your shirt. Exactly. You're a douchebag for that. If you got a problem with it, we can talk. We can talk you know? yeah, yeah. I'm not a victory combat sports, and we'll work it out. Exactly. What well, we call work it out. <laughs> <laughs> you sign a little release waiver, and we'll figure it out. But, yo, <laughs> honestly, I think that that, that was – that was a good time, man. No, we had a blast. We had honestly, a blast, man. man. It was a, it was a lot bad. of positive energy. Um, you know, we, from the moment that we left up until we fell asleep on Josephino's couch at 5 o'clock in the morning. Great time. Great no, time. No, not one complaint throughout the night. Not besides one. that one guy. Yeah, no, besides that one douchebag. Yeah. One douchebag. I remember you. Are we, we on, on, this, that oh, camera. on this camera? We're on this See, camera. See, now the producer's messing with you. I'll remember that. All right. How much time do we have left? Yeah. No, we, we got all we the, time in the, we got time in the world. Guys, I, I think I we're actually, I mean, is there anything else that we want to talk about I don't think there's nothing else to talk about. We have, actually, though, no. oh, what do um, you got? the thing is, so, next week, Thursday, I'll be on Fox 25. Oh, that's right. We're promoting the fight. Do we and have anything else to talk about? I'm, I'm uh, only going to be on no, Fox 25. Fox 25. No big deal or NBC, NBC's also doing a special one. That, 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 that too. And also, next Friday, if you can, we're going to do a Doomsday Good Luck Party. But we're going to release that. We got, we're not going to release that yet. That's going to be on the show. Oh, that's a top secret. That, that's a top secret. Is it Doomsday so, approved? It's Doomsday approved. If it's Doomsday approved, it's John the Snyder approved. You know it is. Exactly. <laughs> so, listen, you stay tuned for that. Okay? Follow us. We'll let you know. But the only way you're going to find out, if you follow us, you don't follow us, you're going to miss up one of the biggest yeah, good luck parties out, out there. You may stumble upon it, but yep. chances are very slim. And, uh, Pat and, Murray, anything else that we want to add to the show? Right, no, and shout out. Shout yeah, out. shout out to Pat Murray. Right, shout Handling out to Pat Murray. Blog work in the background. Shout out to Chris Angel. Shout out to TJ or Three Dog Green. 
I know it's a TJ. Yeah, tall, TJ, you tall, tall, tall man. Tall, tall TJ came through and he showed some moral support, but he left kind of early after he drank a ripple. Yeah. I don't know where. I don't he know went. where to go, but, no, I but think he's actually doing club care tonight. He's doing club royal, club yep. care. He bounces back and forth. Yeah, he's doing all kinds of stuff, yo. He's he's yeah, gonna yeah, be sure the entertainment take over Boston. Green tea, enterprises, and entertainment, whatever. You call, I I forget. See, I, I mess up everything. Yeah, I mess up everything. Except for Stephanie, of course. Yeah, she's the first course. female guest, and I had to get that right. Exactly. Stephanie, how can you mess that up? You can't. You can't do that. You can't do that. So guys, I think is that it? That, that's about it, man. That's it. So listen, do you want to wrap this up or do I want to wrap this up? I think you want to wrap this up. Do you I wrap want it to up. wrap this up? You want to wrap this up? Let's go. Let's, let's, let's do it. John decided to prove. You wrap it up. Let's go. Let's see how All we right, do. So we're on, on that camera. camera. We you show that this camera. camera. Right we show that this camera. All right, guys. Wrap it up. Here we go. Again, this is tough talk on Dirty Water News. Thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna get in nice and close right here to end this off. Check us out. Tough talk, John Doomsday Howard. Stephanie, thank you for coming on. Mike Wilson, Capital Vice Apparel. What was the website? www.capvicegear.com. Check us out. Peace. Peace.